Hello everyone, welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. Farming Simulator 17 with Seasons. Let me fill you in on what just happened to me. Uh, I was just about done with the episode. And now I don't have manual attaching anymore for some reason. Hmm. Um, and the weight that I had on the back of my telehandler, my telehandler, uh, crashed my game. So there's that. And because of that, uh, I had to restart my computer. I waited a few minutes for the file to finish uh, processing, uh, but it seemed to not matter at all as my file was corrupted for the video. So uh, we are starting from here, <laughs> sadly. Uh, like I said, I was just about finished, just about to finish up with the video, and then uh, and then that happened. So it's always it's always nice. Uh, and as you know, I record these a day early, so guess what today would be if I'm recording this a day early? That's right, it's a Monday for sure. Uh, everything today seemed to be a Monday. So, uh, I had lots of stuff planned for today. Uh, unfortunately, life gets in the way. You can't, can't do everything you want to. So, um, most of that got thrown out the window. Which is fine, because, you know, life comes first, gaming comes second. I uh, just thought I'd fill you in on why I did not stream yesterday and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, keep in mind, life does happen from time to time. You can't control it. And, uh, we all kind of... What is going on in here? What is this about? Oh, man, I think I broke my game. i got some kind of weird graphical stuff going on now. Can I attach trailers? I don't think I can attach them. Oh, nope, there we go. Okay, I got some kind of weird graphical thing happening now. Maybe that'll be gone. I'll get this figured out in the next episode. <laughs> I'm hoping that's what happens anyway. Uh, I can't say for sure, but I'm hoping. Uh, I figured out that I'm going to dump these pallets. Uh, probably right here. Because I'm not going to need them. Uh, let's see. I don't want to put them right... I want to put them right... Uh, Kind of right there. There about. Yeah, let's let's go right there with them. That's, that'll work, because we're about to use uh, a couple of them. Uh, but we took care of all our animals and stuff. Uh, the, gra the game did crash on me, so we took care of all our animals. That is all done and complete. Uh, pigs are the last thing we have to finish up here. So uh, get this done and over with, and we'll go finish spraying a field. I was going to do it off camera, but since... Uh, Everything I had planned for the episode just got thrown out the window. Uh, I guess I can do it now. Let's go see if we can attach to our um, our water tank now. We couldn't a minute ago. If we can do it now. Excuse me, little piggy. Look out, buddy. Let's make some bacon. There we go. Um, no, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it's going to work at all. All right, so we're going to use the tractor and we're going to attach to that and give him some water. I'm not doing that now. <laughs> Uh, we'll get grab the tractor and give them some feed and then give them some water and we should be good to head back over to the farm and get started on uh, uh, Working on finishing the last field that I have to spray uh, I sprayed the grass fields once as I figure that's about all I needed to do honestly So I sprayed them once And uh, that's probably all they're getting I'm not mad about it. I hope you're not either Oh, now we got this problem going on too. Get out of the ground! All of the, all these are stuck in the ground, aren't they? No, just a few of them. A few of them are stuck in the ground. So, I figure if we push that one around enough. It's not looking good, is it? No, not really. We're gonna have to come out here and just pry it out of the ground like we did that one, I guess. Um. This should be emptying there for pig food. There we go. Perfect. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to swing around to the other end, I think. And, uh... I'm in this way. That way I can just back in and grab them. I think that might be the better option. Down the hill we go. Uh, but yeah, so everything I had planned for today uh, has already been recorded, but it got corrupted, so I no longer have any of that now. Um, which is about par for course for a Monday, I assume. I'm sure everybody's Monday went well. <laughs> uh... People hate Mondays for a reason. Can we get underneath this guy? 
Perfect, there we go. Let's pick it up just a bit here. We'll watch this graphical glitch in action. Should start pouring out right about there. And it did. You just can't see it now because of the uh, the graphic glitch going on. Uh, so weird, man. I think I, I think I have some mods that just didn't agree with each other. So I'm going to have to figure out which one's which and what's going on with it and that kind of stuff. Uh, so we can fix that in the future in the future episodes because I don't like it. I don't like that happening to me all the time. It's uh, It's very bad. Pick it up just a little bit. We should just be able to run it in here. And are they full? Is that what that is? Go see. They are 100% full. Nice. Okay, so we're just going to set that down. Right there. Back out from under it. And hopefully that will self-empty as it gets close. We'll pull around here and see if we can attach the trailer uh, to the tractor. Because it would not attract, uh, attach to the tail handler, which is weird because it should. Uh, just a minute ago with the cows. Oh no, I used a, I used a tractor for that too. Never mind. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just the. Uh, yep. Okay. So it's not bugged. That's not bugged out. It's just the tail handler does not like it. I guess. All right. Let's fill these guys up with water. This may take a minute. Uh, while we're waiting, I guess we can take a look at the map here, and I'll show you what all I've done. So here we go with the fertilized areas. Uh, all my crops are three layers of fertilization except for field 61 and you can see the dark blue there this part right here That is light blue are probably the only parts that are not going to get uh, the full fertilizing treatment And then we still have to do field 75. So we'll go do some of that here in just a minute uh, 75 is our uh, Barley yes, that's right barley uh, 60 and 75 are our barley We have canola in field 50 we have soybeans in field 51 and we have wheat in field 52 corn in field 55 and then the rest of them are grass fields, of course. And if we look here on the ready to harvest, uh, field 91 is the only grass field that is completely ready to harvest. Some of these other ones are ready, but they're not, they're, you're not going to get a very good yield out of them. So the rest of the stuff's still growing. And we'll go back and we'll hit uh, Alt S and we'll look. Uh, we can't start harvesting until it says the third day of uh, summer, but I think it's more the first day of fall. So, and then our. Uh, corn and soybeans we cannot harvest until the second day of fall. So we'll have uh, just barely enough time to get this done. I think I think I can smash all that in. Uh, they are full. It looks like. Yep. All right. So they are full. We're gonna leave that there. And go back around here and grab our telehandler, and we'll have to find another weight on either the mod store or on a website somewhere. Uh, one more weight for these guys. Uh, I'm not gonna need the plows again because you only have to plow. Uh, every three harvest So and I don't think this this series is gonna go quite that far. So uh, It's definitely not gonna make it three harvest. It might make it two. I think I might do that uh, I may cut it short and just do one. There's lots of good games coming out And I would like to continue my platinum edition series because I'm really enjoying it uh, I really enjoy this one too, but I get a lot more freedom in the other one You know what I mean? I get a lot more freedom because I don't have to uh, Stick to the stringent rules that I stuck to myself unfortunately um, the more realism stuff so I'm not using seasons on it I can I can plant and harvest fields and uh, I can just go make a bunch of uh, silage bales and go sell them for a ton of money uh, and doing some really creative stuff over there so uh, like decorating around the farm adding greenhouses and lighting and stuff around the greenhouses and pathways and that kind of stuff so uh, lots of stuff happening on uh, the platinum edition series and I don't see a whole lot of people doing the platinum edition thing and I don't know if it's because it costs so much money or if it's not real popular because it costs so much money or what, but uh, I would like to. I mean, if you guys have any idea, you know, you let me know in the comments below. But um, So something else I did is I finished picking up all the bales, and I realized that all my bales off of this field right here, you know, we drove by it in the last episode, and I said, oh, man, I'm going to have to go pick all those up. Well, I did, and I wrapped some of them, uh, but the wrapped bales did not turn to silage. There's not very many of them. They turned uh, to nothing. They were just grass. And the grass bells that I did pick up are only about 1,700 liters instead of 4,000 like they should be. So it got kind of weird, and I'm not real sure what happened why, but that did happen. So um, I think it may be because if you let hay sit out on the field or if you leave uh, uh, bales of hay and stuff out in the open area, they do tend to disintegrate and deteriorate. So you definitely have to keep an eye on that if you're leaving bales out for too long. Uh, which is a fantastic feature of Seasons, I think. Uh, I like it a lot because of that. 
the um, you know what? We should have mucked out the pigs while we were over there. I'll do that off camera. Let's see how they're doing now. Uh, they're doing a lot better. The cleanliness went up to 20%. So, very good. We'll have to, I'll finish that up later off camera, I assume. Uh, I'm still waiting on all this to pop back up. Looks like 30 hours is our next cow. Uh, we still haven't, uh, bred any animals yet. So, hopefully that comes soon. And we did fill them up with total mixed ration. Uh, we gave them a couple of bales of grass. We'll probably give them one more. We cleaned out the sheep and gave them some food and water and gave the cow some water as well. So, in uh, the recording that I did, it got corrupted. I did a lot of stuff and got a lot of stuff done. And I hate that it corrupted because, well, like I said, that was my whole plan for today was show off all that to you guys. Uh, but for now, I guess we're going to go do this. And I have been using GPS for this and I think it works really, really well. So, uh, let's just bring that up real quick. And GPS is very easy to use. You auto find width, uh, you lock onto it, and then you can set it a couple of different ways. You can have your line on the ground, you can have it raised up, so that if you're in a field full of crops, you can still see. And you can have no line at all. So I prefer the flat one, just so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, everything else should be good. Uh, everything's ready to go. We're already locked on, so if we do that and then hit B to start the sprayer. Did not start the sprayer because we're on the wrong implement. So let's stop and back up and try that again. Uh, but as you can see, I don't have much much of this field left. I do still have to do field 75, which is a fairly straight field. Um, so I uh, may hand that off to somebody else and us start going, kind of getting stuff in place to be ready to harvest. This is going to be a, uh, I would say a marathon of a harvest, but it's not. It is definitely going to be a sprint of a harvest because we have a lot of crops to pick up. And without using course play, I've kind of gotten spoiled over there on the Platinum Edition. Uh, without using course play, it's going to be very tough uh, to keep up with the weather, so to speak. So, and this is going to have to be moved over just slightly. Let me turn that off there for a second. And we're going to line up here. Just there. And we're going to shift this guy over. No, I don't want to turn it. That's bad. There we go. I'm going to shift it over. About right there. And it's still turned just slightly. Let's see if we can... There we go. Now then, that will work. I can deal with that. That's not so bad. Perfect. That should catch every bit of it. Uh, so we finish this one up, and then we head on over to field 75 or 72, whatever it is in the bottom. 75. We head on over to field 75. I've already got one of the uh, John Deere harvesters down, down there. Excuse me. Uh, but uh, I think I want to go ahead and get the other two in place and then get the uh, Rostel mash over for corn and go ahead and get it in place and we will be ready to harvest uh, in the next episode so uh, it's not a bad not a bad time honestly uh, I think we're doing pretty good with this let me raise that up and get it off of the off the fence there that is one thing I like about this implement is you can raise it up so if you're hitting a fence post or something you can just raise it up over it and still continue spraying so not bad at all. Uh, I didn't realize that until uh, I think yesterday. I was I was grinding a little bit trying to pick up the rest of the hay bales and stuff because I'm sure you guys are tired of watching me do it. So um, my idea today was to do all the animal stuff and kind of rotate it out a little bit. And I said during the summer we'd be doing a lot of animals and we'd do a lot of uh, spraying and grass and stuff. So uh, so far we have we've had um, it was like some like five or six episodes uh, in summertime. So. Uh, and most of those have been mowing and, and picking up bales and doing animals and that kind of stuff. And I was trying to move them around so that it was still fresh. You know, it wasn't back-to-back -back episodes of me doing this. Because this is kind of, uh... Well, I mean, let's be honest. This is kind of boring. <laughs> this is kind of a boring part. I may, may skip uh, the rest of this here and I'll bring you back uh, when I am getting close to done with Field 75. Let's do that. I'll see you then. Okay, headed down to field 75. A uh, quick update. I did go ahead and put uh, a third coat of fertilizer on our grass field, uh, field 84, because that's our one of our biggest grass fields, and it was ready to put a second coat on. Um, field 80, what is it, 88? Uh, field 86. Field 86, that's what it is. I think that's actually our largest grass field, but I just sprayed it, so it's not ready yet. Uh, I may spray them one more time as they hit their third growth stage. 
uh, just before they are completely ready to harvest or right after. Uh, using the GPS mod makes it a lot easier to do. Um, so I don't I don't mind doing it. Cause it's well, I mean it's there. So uh, what I think I might do on this last one is uh, do the headlands and then let a helper uh, finish the field up for me. Because if I do the headlands first, oh, also in the last video I don't think I had this uh, um, fertilizer expansion on the front. This allows me to carry around more fertilizer, so it's very nice. Uh, you do have to switch to it to fill it up, so we're going to fill this up first. Just there. I can hit the right button. That is liquid fertilizer. That is not what we need. Yeah, it is. That's what we're spraying. We're spraying liquid fertilizer. Oh, it's filling up. Okay. I just didn't see the thing moving to start with. Uh, if you look on the left-hand side of that, of the orange tank on the front there, it does have a little hand that shows you... Excuse me. That shows you... Um, how full it is. And on the back right here, on this side, if I'd hit the right button, right here on the right side of it, right by the fender that I am staring at there, you can see a little hand moving up. It shows you how much fuel, I mean, uh, fertilizer you have left in that side. So, uh, liquid liquid tanks are nice because you get the, uh, the option of checking it out and watching the hands and all that kind of stuff when you're playing in first person mode. I did not want to zoom in there. My fault. As you can see, I already have the, uh, John Deere down here ready to harvest this field. The S650. Uh, this is going to be a nice big harvest and this should be the third coat of fertilizer, I do believe. A uh, little spot there didn't get plowed and then some down the middle there didn't get plowed, but I think for the most part uh, we should be good. Uh, let's bring this back up. Let's flip it 90. Move it over. About right there. We're going to auto find width. And we're going to lock on. There we go. We'll be right on the edge of the field now. We're going to miss a little bit there at the beginning, but uh, I think this is going to work pretty well. We're going to do two headlands. We're going to do one on this side, then go down to the other end. I'm not going to do a full headland as I would normally do. But this should give us a good head start. And the only reason I can't, um, can't just let the AI do it is because there's hills on both ends of this. So they'll come up here and they'll run over trees, and on the other end, it's like a levee. I mean, it's just a straight-up hill at the other end, so I uh, can't let them do that either. Uh, we may um, hire a worker to go straight down this side, though. Or I may just GPS it and get there that way, but I don't want to waste uh, a run if we don't have to. So I figured it would be smart just to flip this 90 right here and move it over slightly just to the edge of the field there. Something like that. That running straight down the field, though. Pretty close. Springing out just a bit more. It's not like it's running completely straight down the field. That might be. Nope, that's not it either. Uh, this thing is touchy to adjust. As you can see down there on that end, there we go. That's going to be pretty close. Uh, I'm sitting here wasting fertilizer uh, but we'll do this and then we'll let that lock on and we'll also tell it lines raised so we can see them as you can see that line is running pretty straight down through there um, it may start to tail off a little bit as we get closer to the end but uh, I just don't want to waste a pass down through here and it is starting to trail off a tad so we can we can correct here that should be pretty close You can kind of see the trajectory of it now. Uh, it is going just straight down the field. It is pointing at the other end. We should be good. Uh, we're going to get to the other end of this thing. Slap my microphone in the process. Uh, at some point, I would like to buy field 87 right here. It's a nice big open grass field with no uh, major hills. There is some hill on the other end there. Uh, it's pretty flat, though. Uh, buy that. And uh, turn this into one big uh, grass area right here. So combine the two fields, we'll take a plow and run up the middle of this, right there where there is no plowed ground, as you can see. Uh, it is a different texture. And make this one big, huge, open grass field right here. I think this might be nice. And then we'll take uh, some of our other fields and plant um, some crop in it. Uh, instead of using, uh, using grass. And like, field 85 would be a good one. It's a nice flat field, so 
Uh, but either way, I'm going to get this done and I'll check back in with you when our worker has completed his task. Alrighty, just about to the end of the field. <coughs> Excuse me, <laughs> dry throat today. Uh, just about to the last bit here. I'm not real sure why that didn't get planted. Looks like a weird skip around the field there, but uh, either way, made a nice little face for us. Uh, that is going to be it. That is all of the fertilizer spreading. Um, sprayer or otherwise, I think we did most of it. Um, I did pretty much all this myself, uh, not this field itself, but the other fields. Um, I had to do some uh, other stuff while that was going on, so uh, let him finish that one up for me. I appreciate the help, Mr. Helper Guy. And uh, it looks like that's going to be... I'm pretty sure that's all our fields. Yeah, it looks like we missed a little bit on this side, or that was a part that didn't get uh, fertilized for the second coat, maybe. Uh, but as you can see, grass field 84 did get completely done. Uh, so that's... Almost all of our regular fields. No, that is all of our regular fields. And all of our grass fields have uh, at least the second fertilizing stage done on it. So, uh, very good. We should have a very good yield out of everything this year. Or next, uh, the next cut on um, uh, the grass should be a very good yield. And also, all of our crop fields should have a very high yield on them this year. Uh, we should do very, very well for that. Uh, in the next episode, we are going to be harvesting, hopefully, and we'll be carting grain for the most part, because I'm probably going to chop a headland off each end of some of these fields and then hire a helper, uh, as that seems to work, and then we will cart grain from then on. So we'll be carting some grain in the next episode, uh, hopefully doing a, uh, a very, very, very good job. I think we can turn left here instead of going all the way around. I think I went all the way around last time because I was already down south on this. Uh, I was already up north on that field. That'd be north? No, that'd be, uh, that'd be like west, wouldn't it? Let's see. It'd be east. That's what it is. East. Uh, is that our field? Is that field 60? And field 60 is massive. That barley's gonna take a while. Uh, but the good news is we had, we should have a ton of straw. Uh, I think probably more straw than I inti intended to have because of the amount of, uh, barley that we planted. Field 75 and field 60, our two biggest fields, are planted with barley. So... Uh, should be a good uh, yield for crop and a uh, good price for a uh, good price for the. Uh, we'll put this guy back in here where we got him from. Uh, a good price for the crop itself. If we don't use it to feed pigs, we're probably going to use as much as we can to feed the pigs. Let me, uh, let me lower that down. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to use as much as we can to feed the pigs. Simply for the fact that uh, buying pig food is not. Uh, is not cohesive to making money off of the pigs. Uh, the idea is that they reproduce and you sell the pigs, that kind of stuff. So um, the cleanliness is down to 5% again already, so I'm going to have to go take care of that. Uh, everybody else is looking good. Sheep are producing wool, so we should be in pretty good shape uh, for the next episode. Um, and I think that's going to be it for summer day three. Uh, like I said, I did play some, played a lot off camera actually, and uh, for most part, I was playing in uh, times one, but I did play some in times two. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in this guy and start heading toward the pig farm as we discuss our future plans for the farm. Um, I do plan on adding another building or two over here in this uh, open area. I'd like to add another. Uh, I've got some placeables that are mods. That is old farm building or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of it. We'll see in just a second here. Let's see if I can find them. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, it's it's a shed from Black Sheep Modding, so it's the exact. Um, I think it's the exact sheds that are on this farm already. And if we took and added to this right here, I think that would look pretty good. But yeah, this is the exact shed that's already here. I think, or it's going to be pretty close anyway. So after we move some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, we may pop another one down right there, or we may turn it uh, this way and pop it down right here. So that is definitely what we have planned uh, in future episodes of this. We may level a space out behind it uh, just because there's grass and stuff there. I don't want to take up too much of that, but I don't want to get too far into that over there. So instead of that, we may turn this puppy this way and put it right here up against the silage, as I think that will probably be a better option for us. If we can get an idea what this is going to look like. 
Uh, yeah, I think this might be where we put it, to be quite honest, because that's a it's a pretty good looking shed, and it's got a bunch of stalls in it. One, two, three, four, five. It's got five different stalls in it. They're not very wide, uh, but I think it's going to do us a lot of good, and it should match the look of the old farm, as this is a black sheep map, um, and the old storage shed is from black sheep modding. So uh, I think that's probably going to do uh, probably going to be what we do uh, in the next one. We may add a few lamps and stuff around here, but I doubt it. I'm saving that, that kind of stuff for my Farming Simulator 17 Platinum playthrough of the Platinum series. You can go check it out. Uh, this is the More Realism series, and it is because I got all the mods and stuff on except for the gearbox um, that add to the realism. I have flipped plenty of stuff over. I have uh, uh, gotten I'm slipping in fields because I don't have the proper uh, tools. If it rains, it makes it really hard in fields to get anywhere, uh, especially pulling a plow or any kind of cedar that is not, um, that your tractor does not have the proper horsepower to pull. So, um, yeah, just be on the, be, be on the, the ready for us adding a building, maybe in the next one, maybe after we sell some, uh, uh, sell some crop, um, coming into the first part of autumn here. So, uh, this is the last day of summer. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the fall. Hope you've had a good one. I hope you had a good day today. I hope you're going to have a good day today if you're watching this early. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Later, everybody.